जय श्री माता जी गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन बेटा ऑल बाउ डाउन टू श्री माता जी रेज अवर मदर कुंडलिनी एंड गिव अवर सेल्स अ बंद Let us recite Shri Ganesh Mantra. Let us place both our hands on Mother Earth. Shri Mata Ji, kindly help us to balance ourselves. Kindly take away all that is negative within us into the earth element. Shri Mata Ji. We humbly pray to bring us into complete balance. Let us bring both our hands in our lap. And slowly bring our attention in our sahasrara.
Shri Mataji kindly bless us with the state of thoughtlessness. In this state, let us now listen to Shri Mataji's speech. I know of a gentleman who had arms, ammunition in his house, or everything like that. But now he has beautiful things. Of course, the arms and ammunition are on one side. But such beautiful artistic things he has collected. So I said, How did you get this? See, Mother, I was thinking that you'd like to see them and you'd feel happy. So I bought for you to see. And if you want, you can take anything. I said, I don't want anything. You can keep it to yourself. So this generosity, we call it Audari, is a sign of an incarnation. But this generosity is among my own children now. They are extremely generous and they enjoy giving things to others than to, in keeping things to themselves. It has happened not only in Australia, it has happened all over the world. If you see the Sahaja Yogis, how they are sacrificing their time, their money and everything, to spread Sahaja Yoga, to help others and to accommodate all kinds of things, all kinds of people within themselves. Such wisdom, such collective wisdom is there. We don't have to take any consensus. We don't have to say that you all must say this or what is your opinion, will you vote for it. Everyone votes for the same. If somebody says, all right, we have to give some help to, say, Bulgaria, in Italy, immediately all the Italians brought out their ornaments, everything that, Mother, how much should we say? I said, it's your lookout. And the Bulgarians are surprised also that what have we done for these Italians? that they should come down all the way to help us out with money, every kind of thing. So this compassion, this love, this feeling of oneness, as if they are part and parcel of us, we are not separate. For Russia, you will be surprised that they sent a television from America. Now, America had nothing to do with Russia, but must be the spirit of Sri Krishna trying to help the spirit of right Agya. Must be. Such enthusiasm about Russia is unbelievable. They came in the buses, they came in the trains, they went all the way to all these places, to far-fetched places. And they have achieved tremendous results. It's not only in Europe they are working around, around their own cities, but all the way they are working in Turkey, they are working in Nepal, <coughs> and now Somebody has gone to Japan. He is actually not a Japanese. He is from Rio. And he has gone to Japan, he is a physicist. 
but he is using some sort of a pantomime show on the streets to attract the people and telling them about Sahaja. He telephoned to me three, four times, Mother, you have been to Australia so many times, why don't you come to Japan this time? I said, all right, next time I will definitely come to Japan, I promised him. But this time I am already programmed, you see, by Sajogis, so I can't help it. They have fixed me up everywhere. And I don't mind, because it's so Sahaj. To me it comes Sahaj. Many people ask me whether you are travelling so much, they say, I, say, I, it, I never think about it. <clears throat> also, the collectivity you have now is tremendous. It's not only in Australia you have the collectivity. But the other day I telephoned to someone in India and told them, I'm buying an ashram in Brisbane. They said, Mother, it's a very great thing, we are very happy. Now, for an Indian, what is there to be happy if we buy an ashram in Brisbane? So overjoyed about it. To them, Brisbane is the same as Bombay or Delhi. The heart has become so large because Shiva is shining there, the Spirit is shining. It has become such a large heart that it encompasses the whole universe, I think, the way people look, it, look at it. That's why you all have become universal people. You don't only read about Vishwa Nirmal Dharma, you don't only know about it through your mind, you don't only try to follow it, but you have imbibed it within yourself, which is so Sahaj, which you are not aware of it, how in a Sahaj way it has come to you. Now you know Australia was full of Rishalism once upon a time, nobody was come, allowed to come in here, might be fifty years back or so. But today in Australia, what a change it is! Though they talked of Christianity and all those things, but they didn't think what Christ has said. They were just the opposite of what Christianity should be. Islam is the same, Islam talks of very great things, but it has to be confessed that the Muslims have nothing to do with Islam. Is absolutely from outside, if you see Christianity, you have a very, very funny idea about it. If you ask any Hindu gentleman about Christianity, they will say they are, are the worst possible people, very cunning, very aggressive, and they ta it takes them no time to kill each other. Imagine, disciples. But if you ask a Christian about a Muslim, he will tell you, oh, these Muslims are the most quarrelsome, dirtiest people ever born, fundamentalist. They are all fundamentalist, whether it's a Hindu, Christian, Muslim, anyone, they are fundamentalist because they are reading one book, and that to just reading, the book also doesn't go, One, if the book goes inside, they will realize that all these books are telling the same thing under different names, that's all. But that universal thing you have got, thanks to your Spirit, that was there, quite intact, and which has started shining. So we have now a new community, a new civilization of people who are extremely honest to themselves, honest to each other, extremely righteous and good people, they are absolutely non-violent, absolutely law-abiding, very loving, affectionate, at the same time extremely constructive and at the same time 
very intelligent. They understand Sahaja Yoga. It's such a subtle subject. Sahaja Yoga is such a subtle subject because, you know, everybody has failed to make people understand anything about truth. It's an impossible situation. But this was the trick, your spirit. Once your spirit is enlightened, it goes into your head without any difficulties, absolutely such. You don't know how difficult is the subject of such. It is such a fulfilment for the desire of the Divine that your Divinity is now expressing. When you are collective, you are more enjoying each other, you enjoy collective life. Individualism is against the spirit of the whole. But we have our own varieties. The way you live in other countries, in other atmospheres, with other traditions, that's how you are living. But among ourselves, we have the same faith, the faith which is enlightened, which is not blind faith, enlightened faith. Firstly, that you are Realized Souls, secondly, that there is an all-pervading power. We have the same type of worship, whether it is Christ, whether it is Muhammad Sahib, or whether it is Shiva. We all worship it the same way. We do not have a sort of a difference of opinion on that. Like one church becoming ten churches, and one Hinduism becoming ten Hinduisms. It's not like that. We are all Sahaja Yogis, and we have all got the same principle binding us in a Sahaja manner. We don't have to say, oh, we have to be principled, we have to be on this principle, we are Sahaja Yogis. You have to be there, absolutely, because you have to be there. You just can't help it. Because in your nature, now the Spirit is shining. Also, you are becoming archetypes, I should say, in the real sense of the word, for the people who are not in search. Such people are not available anywhere. When people will see you, they will think that what a model it is, what a model of life. They don't drink, they don't smoke, they don't boast of it, they don't hate anyone, they love anyone, they are so dynamic, they are so creative, they are so constructive, they are so self-contented, they are not at all competitive, they cause no problem to nature, they cause no problem to anything. They have become such beautiful people. Who are these people? Such beautiful people are the models. So now, individually you have to understand this part, that we have to be models in this country of Australia. Model of good behaviour, good language, decent, life, decorous life, not fighting with husband, fighting with wife, you see, you open any television, just get a headache. I mean, there's, there's no other theme but a husband fighting wife and a wife fighting husband. 
There should be wisdom about it. Fighting among yourselves. You see, if so many people have gathered in a pub, what will happen? That pub will burst out. They can never sit silent. The mayor of Kabela told me, it surprises me, that in the church where then we start nudging each other, Baba, how long is it going to take now? It's better get out. You get tired. And what are these people doing for hours together with you? How are they so spellbound? They don't feel tired. I think they are special people. I said, they are. They are. But what do they do? They don't do anything. They are just enjoying. He couldn't understand that once we had a puja, Guru puja, for about six hours all together, and they were surprised at how these people are sitting. And all the people they were, all the villagers, mostly they are elderly, they thought that these angels have come from somewhere. They are angelic people. They don't trouble you, they don't torture you, they look after you, they try to be kind to you. Not only that, but they try to bring joy to you. They were so surprised in that village. First they used to call me Princess, then they started calling me Goddess, then they said, You are Madonna. Whatever they could think of the best, they started saying all those things. They want now to come to Sahaja Yoga. But I said, let us see now, after some time, we'll work it out for them also. They are so nice now by seeing how the Sahaja Yogis are, because I seldom go out, but seeing the way Sahaja Yogis are, that the land behind the house was not even given to Prince Dorio, who was willing to pay a lot of money because he wanted to have a road that way. But to me, they rushed forward. And at a very nominal price they gave me that land. They said, it is for you only, please have it. The whole village is getting into transformation. But the dedication you have is very remarkable. Surprises me, really surprises me. I've never taught too much. But the way you are dedicated in everything, everyone who is not a surgery will be charmed the way you are dedicated. To Sir Yoga, to me. Sometimes I think, what have I done? I've done nothing. You had your Kundalini, you had your spirit. That's all. But such a difference, with little distance you covered, and such a difference. Can you imagine an Indian woman coming to Australia, finding this love, this affection and this dedication? Unbelievable! They all think that I must be mesmerizing you. Nobody can believe that you could be that dedicated, take so much trouble, so much care. I mean, just imagine the flowers that you have brought. Just imagine all this you have done. I mean, just imagine the way they brought another big car so that your mother should be brought here without any difficulty. All this love, all this affection, this care. I never asked for anything. I could have walked down. If you had said, we have to walk, I would have walked. I would never have said no. I never expected all these things. But the way you want to express your love to Me, this dedication is so much, and you sacrifice so much for that. Really,
really you are sacrificing way too long. Your time, your effort to come all the way to this far off place for this puja. All the gain that you have from puja is only possible when you are a realized soul. Otherwise, it is useless to do any puja, any worship. People go to church, sing few hymns and come back. They are just the same and afterwards go to the pub, because they think pub is the only place where they can get some joy. One had to exert, one has to sacrifice. Though I may say that Sahaja Yoga is the easiest thing, you don't have to go to Himalayas to stand on your heads and all that. But still, you have to sacrifice your time, your attention. Formerly you might be going to some uh, rock music, you might be going to some pubs also, you might be enjoying all these things, but you have given up everything. Without my telling, you just have given up and you are so pure now. Your attention is so pure, you can't enjoy all these things. Don't you think it's very remarkable that this has happened? This community, I don't have to tell you, I don't have to educate. I must say that all these things you have given up, suddenly I find all of you have become so clean, so beautiful, your chakra is so clean. Is it that these are your puropunyas that is working out?
Let us recite the Mahamantras. Thank you, Shri Mataji, for blessing us with this beautiful meditation. On this auspicious occasion of Mahashivratri, Shri Mataji, kindly help us all awaken the spirits within us and let the light of the spirit spread around the world let us all bow down to shamata ji raise our mother kundalini and give ourselves a bandhan
let us all meet again tomorrow morning same time jai shri mata ji